Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot. It's Georgie. And in today's reading, I would like to look at a video that was put up by the body language guy. It was a little while ago now, um, but he showed a set of beautiful uh, photographs of Diana with William and Harry. Uh, they were all laughing and they were gorgeous photographs. I would imagine they were taken over the course of a couple of hours and um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful black and white photographs. And then he sort of got his ruler out and he did some lines sort of showing how their bodies were positioned. And it wasn't until he did that that you became really aware of Diana's body language pulling back and away from Harry and in towards William and in every photograph that was the situation she pulled back from Harry leaning in towards William pulling away from her youngest son and it was just interesting um Harry was always moving forward was the energy moving forward to hold on to his mother to try and pull her to him and they were all laughing all smiling but these planes of their bodies was just quite intriguing. And I don't doubt that Diana loved both of her boys equally. But body language is so fascinating because there are things that you can't hide. Um, and it doesn't matter, you know, what you try and do, it will seep through. And I just wondered whether deep, deep down inside, Diana had thoughts and feelings about Harry that maybe she hadn't even acknowledged but those thoughts and feelings she couldn't she couldn't hide it in body language and maybe Harry picked up on that as a, a young child maybe he picked up on that without being aware neither of them being aware so I wanted to look at Diana and just see if the cards can give me some idea of maybe that sort of subliminal message that she was giving out that sort of slightly uncomfortable pulling away feeling from Harry I would say that Harry was probably about seven at the time of these photographs um, and they were beautiful but very interesting once you start looking deeply you see things that then you can't unsee so, as I say, I'm sure she absolutely loved both of them equally, but um, it's just this body language. It was seeping through that something maybe made her pull back from him. And I'm just going to see if the cards can tell me what that might have been or what her thoughts and feelings might have been towards Harry that came through in her body language. And I'm sure she was totally unaware of it. Just have another pass one more and we'll just take a few cards okay diana's feelings towards her youngest son um quite strong cards on the table you know there's no um no, there's no childish energy here. There's nothing light and bright about this. Um, Eight of Swords. Uh, I think that she felt very sort of blinded as to what to do with this little boy. Um, and I think she felt that her hands were tied to some degree. I don't think she could see how to help him. Um, this is a woman who had worked with children before she married Charles. Okay, she was only a teenager, but she'd been around um, children and babies and she knew um, how different they all were and she'd seen lots of children. Um, but this child, she'd not had to deal with a child quite like Harry before. And I think this made her very uncertain about what to do. I think she felt very um constricted and very I don't know what my best option is I can't see how to help this little boy and um my arms are sort of bound into me I don't know quite how to love him 
that's the energy that I'm getting. And I think she saw devil sounds um, incredibly harsh when you're talking about a little boy. But I think she saw that devilish part of him, the part of him that would um, bite himself and say that William had done it, that would kick William if he got a cuddle before he did. I think she saw this developing, this this dark side, and I think that almost scared her in a way and made her think, oh, my God, how are we going to deal with this? And remember, she wasn't around very much. She, it's not as though she was um, a mother that was there every day and, you know, could could guide this situation. She was very much um, away much, much of the time. So her two boys were with nannies and um, governesses and what have you. But when she saw it, um, I think she was a little bit disturbed about the darkness that he had. Should we say it like that? And the star, the star the right way is, is being the center of attention, being, you know, um, but in a nice way, you know, it's, it's good energy coming down on you. It's, it's, um, if this was a child, it would be the child that, um, succeeds and, you know, does well at school gets the star you know gets the star for their art prize you know gets this gets gets the star for doing well at this subject or that subject and oh you know what a great achievement um oh this child you know is thriving the light's shining on them what a little star and that's the way I would see that in in relation to a child um he wasn't getting that I think that he was struggling at school he was struggling in many areas and the attention that he got wasn't good attention uh, be it from school or you know whatever situation it wasn't positive attention and then we have the five of wands the five of wands is you know that fighting in the family and I think she she knew that you know, this fighting probably between her and Charles um, was having an effect on the children. Um, quite often, you know, I'd say that the five of wands in reverse is just letting the fighting go. But in this situation, I don't see it like that. I, I see, unfortunately, the fighting was escalating, um, that the, the, the bad feelings between her and Charles um, it was getting more intense. It wasn't. It wasn't getting less. This is just niggling, fighting, niggling. Families feuding, families feuding. And usually you'd say, well, you know, oh, we just let it go. But they didn't let it go. Um, and I think things were escalating up, which was compounding this situation, compounding his um, behaviour compounding the fact that he, he was getting into trouble and being the star in reverse, compounding her feeling, I don't know what to do with this child. So let's see, let's see the middle of the pack. What what was at the real heart of the situation, her, her feelings towards her little boy? What was right at the centre? So we're going to go for two. Sorry, I'm going to move Ed everything up so you can see it. Let's go there. I think um, she tried a lot of things. She basically come to a standstill with it. Uh, these are two cards whereby you um, slow down and with the chariot you stop. Um, I think that She'd been, oh, we, we'll take him here. We'll take him there. We'll do this. We'll do that. Um, oh, um, asking the nanny, can can you do this with him? Can we try that kind of um, bribery? This, that and the other. Try different things. Let, let's, you know, see what we can do for Harry um, just to change his personality, to make him, you know, um, less of this devil energy, to make him not so naughty at school, to make him, you know, um, a good boy at school, not a bad boy at school, to make him stop um, saying things that his brother's done something when the brother hasn't done something, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, And I think she was quite sort of frantically looking for things. And then I think by the time these photographs had um, taken place, she just pulled back on that. Um, I think because of the fighting with her and Charles and everything, 
her mind was now much more on her divorce was much more on you know trying to stabilize herself her own emotions that maybe she didn't have the emotions to um and the time to think about this this child that was um having trouble so i think she sort of pulled back from him and pulling back again in those photographs that that would be that pulling back energy and you know again here look the heart's out of the body um just just slightly removing herself now i don't think she even consciously knew she was doing this but i think here she did take a bit of a step back and this came through in those black and white photographs um this is what the cards are telling me um they are just tarot cards and i am interpreting them in the way that i see fit um i don't think she ever deliberately pulled back from him but I just think the circumstances of her life just made her retreat a little bit. And the person that she retreated towards was William. He was the one that she confided in as time went on. And I just think it was a lot for her to try and cope with this child. And she didn't know how to. I think she really didn't know how to. And maybe she just left it then for other people nurses and nannies to um to cope with this um because she needed to worry about what was going on in her own relationship and all the fighting within it so they are interesting cards for a child you know there's nothing on there that's um a real emotional um loving bond i'm not saying she didn't have it but then we're getting down deep down deep into her deep deep thoughts about this child that she probably didn't even acknowledge um i think that's interesting i shall leave it with you i'm sure that you'll have your own opinions of this um that's just my interpretation so <laughs> if ever you get a chance to see that um body language guys video with those beautiful black and white photos um see if you can find it i don't know what it was called but if, if ever you find it and you you have a look um you'll see it quite clearly uh how the the body language does come through in it hope you enjoyed that one and until next one i'll see you then bye bye <laughs>